cultivating quality relationships in God's family. My family was actively involved with our local church as I grew up. We regularly attended services each Saturday, participating in different weekly activities. What always stood out to me about church was its sense of community. People truly cared for each other. One summer, our church hosted a mission trip to another state for a week. Working on construction projects and helping local families in need was fulfilling enough work-wise. But what made the experience memorable was making lasting friendship between all participants that would last after our trip had concluded. Stewardship is a core element of Christian theology, emphasizing responsible care of the resources entrusted by God, including material and spiritual. One aspect of Christian stewardship involves cultivating good relationship within the church. This presentation discusses stewardship in relationship within the church. It draws from scripture, theological literature, and practical examples as sources. Furthermore, this piece offers tips for building quality relationships through intentional stewardship practices for individuals and church communities. Importance of quality relationships in the church. Paul likened the church community to a body, with each part playing a unique role in making the functioning of the whole possible. Just as the body parts are crucially interdependent, when one suffers or rejoices, all suffer a similar impact. It highlights the significance of stewardship in relationship within the church, with each local member, each member supporting the well-being of the whole through loving, serving, and building each other up in the faith. From the book, Stewardship of Life highlights stewardship as a central aspect of Christian discipleship, covering all areas of life, including relationships within the church community. Quality relationship in church requires developing trust among members, showing respect and genuine affection towards each other. Believers are expected to serve one another with humility, and selflessness whilst encouraging one another in their faith journeys, fostering meaningful connections that bring members closer to each other is integral to experiencing the fullness of God's love and an increased sense of belonging within the church community. To foster strong bonds within the congregations, attending worship services, Bible studies, and prayer meetings regularly provide ample opportunities for fellowship among fellow believers. Establishing solid bonds within God's family or church is vitally important for various reasons. First and foremost, church membership provides individuals with accountability, support, an encouragement that allows for spiritual growth that leads to deeper maturity in the faith. Second, nurturing quality relationships within God's family or the church can offer emotional support during trying times, providing a safe space to share struggles whilst receiving comfort and advice. Thirdly, the church is a community of believers with a shared faith. By building quality relationships within God's family or the church, individuals can feel a sense of belonging and connectedness within a larger society. Additionally, through cultivating these quality relationships, they may discover service opportunities that help form deeper bonds whilst fulfilling their calling as Christians. Ellen G. White recognized the significance of building strong relationships within God's family as being essential for spiritual development, both individually and as an institution. She wrote, Love is the basis of godliness, 
whatever the profession, no man has pure love for God unless he has unselfish love for his brother. This, the sincere love and care we have for our fellow believers reflect our love for God and play a vital role in our spiritual development, strengthening relationships within God's church and community. You know, building stronger relationships within the church community begins by practicing hospitality, welcoming others into our lives, and building community as stated in Romans chapter 12, verse 13. This can be accomplished by sharing meals, attending church events, engaging in dialogue, and hosting conversations about spiritual matters. Generosity is also also plays an integral part in good stewardship, as stated in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 and 7. It shows our willingness to share resources, such as finances, or time with those less fortunate, whilst deepening bonds within the church families. Furthermore, service and leadership play an essential role in building relationships, by using our talents and abilities to serve the needs of believers, we can contribute to building up the church community, as stated in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 11 to 13. It can be done by volunteering, leading a small group, or mentoring others. As a part of leadership, we should encourage others to develop their skills and use their talents to serve the church community. Here are some practical strategies for cultivating quality relationships among believers to enhance worship, particularly an engagement in fellowship. Attend church regularly. Attendance at church services, Bible studies, or prayer meetings can offer ample opportunity for fellowship among believers. They provide opportunities to fellowship with other believers, participate in worship, and engage in fellowship. Regular church attendance can be an effective way of building meaningful relationships within God's family, providing opportunities to meet other believers, participate in worship services, and enjoy fellowship activities. Two, participation in small groups. You know, joining a small group can offer a safe space to share challenges, receive support, and engage with like-minded individuals. Three, serving in ministry. Participating in ministry can be a fantastic way to forge meaningful connection within the church community. By working alongside like-minded individuals who share similar passions, you can form deep ties through shared experiences. Number four, engaging in ministry and outreach. This is a great way to build meaningful relationships within a church community. Working towards shared goals creates an ethos of shared purpose whilst helping individuals discover and develop their talents and gifts. Jesus taught that his disciples who serve others are among his highest esteemed followers from Matthew chapter 23 verses 11, 13. When we serve each other, we demonstrate our love for God and each other, and at the same time, strengthen the community within the church. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. Regular communication, number five. For relationships within the church to flourish, regular communication between believers should occur through phone calls, texts, emails, or social media, attending church events, participating in small groups or Bible studies and volunteering alongside one another are great ways of cultivating intentional connections. Expressing appreciation for each other creates a feeling of togetherness and respect within a congregation. To foster unity and mutual respect, Members must express themselves emphatically while showing appreciation towards one another. To promote unity and mutual respect, members must express themselves respectfully while showing appreciation towards other believers. Number six, 
engage in active listening and empathy. You know, practical communication skills are necessary to build strong relationships. It includes actively listening to others, understanding their point of view, showing empathy towards their feelings, experiences, and emotions, and showing kindness. Ideally, it would be good to listen attentively whilst trying to comprehend what others are saying empathically. Number seven, practice forgiveness. In maintaining healthy relationships, Practicing forgiveness is paramount. When conflict arises, seeking and extending forgiveness is vital to restore relationship and promote unity within the church. As believers, we are called to prioritize others' needs first and love one another. From Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 and 4, and John chapter 13, verses 34-35. Building quality relationships within the church takes intentional effort and willingness from all members to prioritize others' needs and love them as Jesus would desire, according to Philippians chapter 2, verses 3 to 5. By doing so, believers can experience the fullness of community support that comes from being part of God's family, engaging in regular fellowship, and worship. Number eight, attending church regularly and participating in worship are integral to building strong community relationships. By gathering as a group of believers, we can share personal experiences whilst offering each other spiritual support and sharing our spiritual beliefs. In conclusion, let me say, that still worship is deeply ingrained in Christian beliefs and involves taking care to manage the resources given to us by God responsibly. Attending church, engaging in small groups, serving in ministry, and maintaining open communication are effective strategies for developing and strengthening relationships. Establishing meaningful connections within the church is essential for spiritual development, emotional support, community building, and service. Through investing in other believers, individuals can experience God's grace within the church community. Therefore, individuals and communities alike must foster responsible stewardship of relationship within their church to build robust and striving faith-based communities of faithful individuals. My beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, as we bring this timely message to a close, I want to leave you with the words of the psalmist who declared, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Psalm 133 verse 1. We have journeyed through the corridors of scripture, seeking wisdom on cultivating quality relationship within God's family. We have heard the Apostle Paul's exhortation to bear with each another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 2 to 3. In the spirit of our forebears, those who stood firm in the face of adversity, let us remember that the strength of our fellowship lies not just in our shared moments of joy, but in our collective response to challenges. When the storms of life assail us, it is the unity, love, and support we offer each other that define us as the family of God. As we step out from this sacred space into a world hungry for the love of Christ, let us be the living epistles, known and read by all men. In our workplaces, neighborhoods, and wherever our path may lead, may the fragrance of Christ's love emanate from us. Remember, my brothers and sisters, the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. By this, all people will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. As we cultivate quality relationship within God's family, let that love be our hallmark. Now, as we prepare to depart, let us go forth with hearts full of gratitude, hands ready to serve, and a commitment to cultivate and nourish the relationship that make us a 
truly family in Christ. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. And the church says, Amen, Amen, and Amen. God bless you. Shall we pray? Eternal Father, we want to thank you for the opportunity you have given us to learn about the need for us to cultivate quality relationship within your church. As stewards who have been called to serve you, you expect us to love one another, to cherish one another, to be of support to one another. In our churches, may we exhibit these qualities that your name will be honored and exalted and that Christ will be reflected in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.